welcome back to my channel it's Lichelle here today we are going to be talking about makeup just a little bit about our favorite makeup and we're going to be talking about lipsticks that we've been using and that we like and that we always have in our purses so I have my sister here Leisha Hello. she uh, knows a little bit about makeup so she's going to be talking a little bit about that and um, also we're going to get into a little bit about some products that she has on her page called Glamour Lee Cosmetic. It's going to be up here somewhere. And <laughs> yes, and you guys can pre-order the products that we will be talking about today. So everyone knows this one. This is the Fenty um, Stunner Lipstick. This is in the shade Uncensored. Um, it's a great universal red. And I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite shades, of course, by Rihanna Fenty. Um, it's comfortable. It's, it's matte, but it's not drying on your lips. And it doesn't matter whatever occasion. It's a great lipstick to wear. Yeah. Let's talk about the applicator because I do not like the applicator. Okay. And the reason why I don't like it is because the applicator... I don't know, it's just a bit round and I read it a little smaller so I can apply it on my lips. I mean, they're pretty big, but at least <laughs> actually, um, looks like um, we shall just need a little education. <laughs> in it. So, the shade Rihanna's makeup artist. The reason why this, this, this tip, this um, it's it has been made like this for a specific reason because for application purposes, um, the tip of this, the pointy tip. You use it to the edges of your lip for perfect application so it won't cause any smudges or anything like that to create that nice cupid's bow and the flat part the flat edge of it you you use it to the bottom of your lips for you know for the application it'd be better applying it there so yeah it's just all about knowing how to apply sometimes we may think uh, specific make lipstick or whatever makeup may not fit us but if we know how to apply it properly it will suit us yeah, yeah. I mean I like the color okay <laughs> and she said I guess I just need some education yes. all right next we are going to talk about uh, the shade not really the shade but this is like a lip oil it's like lip gloss um, that during COVID time you don't really wear so much of lipstick but we still try to keep at least I still try to keep my lips moisturized because they're pretty dry so I almost every day have on this uh, lip oil as they call it or lip gloss and it's really nice it's a kind of it's nude but a kind of pinkish uh, look to your lips so yeah it's a very um this is milk makeup uh, it's a great brand um it's a lip oil um so it's versatile it's a lip oil and the, for your cheeks so you use it on your cheeks the the color you give it a nice pinkish blushy color on your cheeks you can use it over your eyes um yeah so it's very versatile um and multi-use so you can use it every day next we are going to talk about these baddies here i actually have on toffee and i have on a mauve moment these are the lipstick from um, Juvia's Place, popular brand as we know. Um, these are from their New Kingdom collection. Um, the one I, um, these are very nice for everyday use. I love it. It feels nice on the lips. It's a velvety matte formula, and it's great for everyday use. It's comfortable. It, it may transfer a bit. It will. It is gonna transfer because it's not matte, matte. But I love the feeling on my lips. It's not drying. It's very moisturizing, and yeah, it's a great, great um, lipstick. Love the. I love the packaging. I love, love, love. It. On um, red, it's actually ColourPop, and the right name for it is Trust Me, I believe. Yes, it's Trust okay. Me. ColourPop. Trust, trust Me. me. Um, yes, this is a lippy sticks. Uh, lippy stick by Colourpop. Um, it's a vivid true red. Um, it looks very nice. Fits anyone. Great for any occasion. When a woman puts on a red lipstick, it tells a lot. So yeah. <laughs> this is Trust Me by Colourpop. Very beautiful shade. Um, yeah. And I have on Candy Paint. It's a muted 
plummy rose shade um see it's a very nude color nude shade you know to wear every day to work to wherever you want to go and of course every these days most persons are into the whole nude look so this is great for every day i love it um despite yeah. the fact that we're not wearing masks and stuff a lot these days i mean but when you want to put on a beautiful lipstick whether it be a, this beautiful red hair okay. or something neutral a neutral look you can go for this kind of neutral look yeah i think that this one candy paint this one here it's a kind of it smells like chocolate kind of like a cocoa uh, taste it actually it's like a kind of cocoa color as well kind of chocolatey color yeah, it's the Maybelline super stay matte ink and when I say super stay it's actually super it actually stays on all day this one is something some people may not be able to be all comfortable with but it's it's comfortable it's 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 drying it's a bit drying on your lips but it stays all day and um, it still fe it's, it feels a bit comfortable um, but it's a very nice um, it comes from their coffee edition this is Coco console this one this is from um, Colourpop another Colourpop this is this is pinkies up this is from their Lux their Lux lip collection I don't think they have so many of them anymore. I mean, Colourpop always just changing so much of their, their lipsticks and stuff online, and so then they discontinue some of their shades. Who knows why? But this is a lovely, lovely lipstick. Another, just swatch it here. Yeah. yeah. So another, again, pinkish mauve color. If you realize, I have so many of those, but I love them. Um, yeah, so it's another great shade. It is, it is not a matte, but I love it. It feels comfortable on your lips and not an everyday wear shade. Yeah. Yeah. This is, and the packaging is so beautiful. Look at it. Nice. Yeah, so rose gold packaging. Beautiful. Yeah, and I think what, what we really try to accomplish is basically just showing you guys our faves. Like, mm -hmm. the fact that we wear a lot of nudes or we kept it um, simple, but also still making a statement with the red. And I really think that this actually makes a statement as well. To me, it's kind of close to red. It kind of stands out like red, I feel. I don't know. Because I it has a bit of a red on the tone. Oh, it does, yeah, yeah, it actually a looks like that. Like yeah, a yeah. burgundy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a like true. That. It's not a. It's not a true brown, but it has those undertones in it that you can see. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I think you said it perfectly. I can. I can see that as well. Mm -hmm. So let's get into some of our makeup faves or must-haves. This is the Sharpness A A O A Studio Multi Sculpting Brow Pencil. This, this is, is a must-have. Okay, yeah, this, this is a must-have. And people, this is so affordable. Come yeah. on, compared to the expensive brands like, um, I mean, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills too. I mean, I love her products. I've tried her brow wiz and it's lovely. I love this as well. This is a great um, pencil. Um, I use this as well. She's that brown. Um, yeah, it's. I love the slanted. It's a slanted. For those who mm -hmm. may like it, it's like a slanted. It's like a slanted pencil, so it gives you that, you know, precision of way how it, you know you apply when you're doing the your brows, and then it comes with a spoolie in the end, brush up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and plus people, it's budget friendly. It is. So. It definitely is. And let me tell you, I mean, don't look at my eyebrows <laughs> because I definitely need some expertise there. But I would say that. For someone that doesn't really know about shaping their eyebrows or doing their eyebrows because i know that on an average like the person who's really good at eyebrows may spend 15 minutes doing their eyebrows i probably spend like five minutes because let's face it i need some help there <laughs> but this definitely helps me to i mean come close or as close as possible <laughs> to doing a good makeup okay. i mean a good eyebrow yeah <laughs> really good yeah all right so next um eyeliner but currently i'm using the la girl gel liner um it's a good liner the only downfall with it is that 
you have to it's so pigmented that you have to be careful you don't it, it creates a little bit of smudges around your eye but I love it because it's it does what it does it says glide it does glide smoothly along your eyes and yeah it's a gel formula gel pen um, yeah so it's a great another great um, brand and another great product eyeliner yeah I love it and that's one of the products I use almost like if I have to go anywhere besides my eyebrows like put it um, from eyebrows to just a lip balm my eyeliner so love this it's a must talk about um, satin spray I love the satin spray Ramel London satin spray it is this is a two-in-one this is the yeah, two-in-one primer satin spray I usually I use it as a um, satin spray I don't use it as a primer I use the elf but I love this this is a great um, satin spray and also of course again people it's a drugstore budget friendly product so yeah and trust me when you spray this over your face after your makeup application it actually keeps the makeup on especially I um, use it um, with, uh, you know time when I put on foundation and I put on my mask um, over me it actually reduced the amount of makeup transfer onto the mask with this um, this is a very very um, great brand besides the other popular brands out there but this is a really good one so yeah yeah you got this too for me and family and oh, uh, okay support your sister okay yeah. <laughs> um next we're gonna talk about highlighters i love highlighters i, I mean okay. you know because of the whole covid yeah covid hate it but you know we gotta do what we have to do um i don't wear much of highlighters because to me it's just like extra thing like if you want to go extra and you want to do it you know i usually put it on my nose here to highlight my nose like keep it well here cheeks of course on the eyebrow um i love this one from makeup revolution um that's another great brand as well another great affordable brand um i think it's a english brand london um yeah so i love it they have this it's a four pan eyeshadow um sorry highlighter mm -hmm. all right um yeah it's a very good one so i love this and also i love this okay. fenty again you all can see fenty. by now um that i am a fenty okay. fan and i am a true fenty fan <laughs> i love this is the um trophy white highlighter yeah really beautiful oh, it's not focusing why is it not focusing yeah but um yeah this is the trophy white highlighter mm -hmm. um then i could just swatch it a bit see oh look at that it's beautiful mm -hmm. it's trophy white it's a beautiful mm -hmm. highlighter you don't want to put too much you know it's just you just put a little bit i mean i, I don't have that one. a little bit you know a little bit because I had on <laughs> I like love it. Okay. But I love this. And I had this a while too. Um, this is the um kilowatt foil. This is mimosa sunrise and sangria sunset. Another beautiful one. Mm -hmm. It's like this is like a blush, but you can this is multi-use as well because I use it over my eyes like an eyeshadow and yeah, your cheeks. Yeah. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. And last but not least and then just talk about eyeshadow um i love eyeshadow but i don't you know i guess because of we wear masks these days hand wear yeah. i don't wear so much from um you know makeup these yeah. days but that's okay we're, we're, we're gonna get back there this um this is the eyeshadow palette by anastasia beverly Hills. this is a jackie ana eyeshadow palette love it love it love it um I know because of COVID, you know, we don't really wear so much of these mm -hmm. eyeshadows and stuff. But when we do, you know, yeah. love it. I wore, I, wore love, I wore that today. And there's also other good palettes. Um, there's another one I have here from um, 
makeup revolution. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, this is their star, starry eyed eyeshadow palette. I can get it open. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be the right thing. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, see? This is another beautiful one. Um, I love the shades, the blues. The bronze, yeah. the bronze. I use, <laughs> as you can see, my fingers dipped in that one there because I used it so much because of that. Well, when I used to use it, I used that one most of the time. So, you know, it's a very beautiful shade. And then again, it's another affordable palette, you know. And there's a lot of affordable brands out there that I love. Like, I love yeah. ColourPop eyeshadows. And the whole um, makeup of this is nice. foundation a great foundation um, it's not heavy on your skin it doesn't make you look cakey it's separated not because everybody's saying it's separated but from trying it myself it's a great makeup for every yeah. day um, creates that natural skin like finish and yeah it's lovely great yeah. great shape. I mean, to add to that, this is something that I got from my sister as well. Um, what's the name of this one? This is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Foundation. Yeah, and this is what I actually have on right now. Um, and I like this. I, the only thing about this that I can say is that it may not have as much coverage um, as you would want, but it's really close to the skin. Um, and I like it because it looks natural. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. I, I like it. It's a good foundation. Um, another everyday wear foundation. You know, um, it's 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 a medium to billable coverage. Mm -hmm. um, it's to me. Uh, I'll say um, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give it an eight. But I love it. It's it's still great. It's still a good foundation. Yeah. So what foundation do you have? Oh, but. I am wearing, which I love these days, I am wearing, um, this is a Juvia's Face Stick Foundation in the shade, I am the shade Mauritana, Mauritania, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. What I like about it is that it's just so easy to apply, like I just, just apply it on the end, I just use a sponge or a brush to apply and it gives me that natural skin finish as well. Compared to their, um, they have the their regular foundation. It's too heavy. I don't like the um, the regular one that Juvia's Face carry. Um, probably if yes, you're going for a more heavy, full coverage look. Um, yes, it's nice, but it's a bit thick, and you, you don't have to use that much. But I rather this one. It's a great um, foundation as well. I love this. It's a great foundation um, stick. Um, yeah, you get it on their website, um, and that's what I use more these days when I use foundation because these days I don't use much of it. But mm -hmm. this is a great foundation as well. All right, so what are we going to add next to the makeup? Phase? Okay, so we can, we're gonna add a concealer. Um, this is a Juvia's Face concealer. Um, um, it's um, in the shade, I'm using the shade G15. It's a, it's a little bit light. This shade is a little bit light for me, but um, if anything, I'm just gonna get try to see if I get another darker shade, just one shade darker. And just to point out, when you're wearing a concealer, it should always be one to two shades lighter than your your foundation, because we want to be looking like some you know clowns out there with these bright bright highlights. So these highlights are gonna be eyes and looking too you know ghost like under your skin so remember that you know so this is another great um, um concealer another concealer i want to point out but i don't have it um because i'm out of it and i really really loved it um it's a bit on the high end but it's a two-faced um concealer i love that concealer it's really really good you know like if you want to get a foundation to make a clip of it here and it can be purchased on Glamily as well. From, yes, you can okay, pre order it from Glamily. It's a little bit on the high end, but I love that concealer. It's a really, really good concealer. Um, so, from there, 
Let's talk about the setting powders or setting powders. Well, do you realize it's another Judas face? I like Judas face as well. So this is a Judas face setting powder. This is in the shade Kalari. Um, yeah, so I use it under my eyes. I set under my eyes after my concealer. I love it. It's really nice and soft, and it, um, it's great. I, do, I haven't seen any flashback on it actually. I, it's really good. It's another, and you can pre-order this as well. It's another affordable um, setting powder again. Another one which I use for all over, setting yeah, powder for all over, well. is uh, of course the Maybelline Fit Me mm -hmm. um, loose finishing powder. I like loose finishing powders. I, there's something about the application I like um, about it. There's more. I have more control with it than I don't. I I like the pressed powders, but I like the loose powders more. Some people don't like it because it gets a little messy and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff, but I like it. It's a great um, setting powder as well. I'm in the shade medium deep, and I love it. I love wearing it. I've been using it for a few years now, and it's not giving up on me. I, I, I love it. I, I love it too, and I'm out of, so maybe I can take her as a new one. She can just pre-order and put on any cosmetics, and she can get it. Or maybe I can do that. Yes. <laughs> So, so finally, I just want to touch on uh, two. Oh, let me just show you this. The better looking one than the one. <laughs> um, this is the Sharpness A um, Wonder Blender. Very good, very very good. Um, and then again, it's so affordable, everyone. So affordable. I am telling you, you can get this. This is better than this Avila Popular Beauty Blender for twenty. US dollars, which to me doesn't make sense, but the, there's so many other cheaper brands on the market that you can get and it still works as it's great as yeah. same way. I love it. This is this one has a slanted, you know, edge, so it's great for you know, under eyes, what you know, for reaching there, and it's a great beauty blender. So, yeah, so that's it. And that's All right. it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that brings us to the end of our makeup faves, our lipstick faves. Again, you can purchase some of these items. Well, about 80% of the items that we did show, mm -hmm. uh, you can get them on Glamourly Cosmetics. So make sure that if you're interested in any one of the lipsticks that we uh, showcased today, that you head over to Glamourly Cosmetics and you send my sister a DM. You can pre-order. Most mm -hmm. of the items will be on pre-order because we don't have most of these items in stock. But yes, you can order these items from me. And yes, they will maybe in, in stock inventory soon in the future but yeah. for now we're gonna do pre-orders and